This is Justin with Cedar Graphics and today we are going to be working with an uh, Illustrator file and setting it up for a reticulating uh, varnish or coating. Now this finish is applied just like an ink as it's going through the press. It's even uh, another plate is even created. So but we need to identify what areas we want to have dull and which areas we want to have shiny. So I'm going to use this complex uh, lizard piece to give you a good idea of how to do this. Now you want to go through and take your main image and make sure you duplicate that layer just so in case something is messed up you can come back just delete the layer and come back to it later. So I'm going to select this image and I'm go going to use the live trace option. Now for really detailed images like this I like to use the grayscale because that makes it a little bit easier to select different gradients and fills as you need to later. So I've already done that and I place that in another layer here so you can see what I ended up with. Okay. You then want to go up and select expand. So this takes a little bit, but it will go through and highlight all my individual fill parts. I'm then going to right click and go down to ungroup. This will allow me to select some of the individual colors here in just a moment. So okay. As you can see, you should be able to go through and now select some individual areas. Okay, I'm just I'm looking for these in real little small areas between the scales to highlight, and instead of one of the scales, oh, there we went. They all lit up, and I want to try and get all of these. So I'm gonna go to select same fill color. Okay, this will highlight a lot of these areas in between these scales. Okay. I'm going to make all of these the same color. I'm going to use a cyan and just start selecting the areas that I want to end up dull when I'm completed. So go through, add as much as you want. I know that I want all of this area here to be dull. And you can just build in all of the areas until you end up with something a little bit like this. Okay. Now my recommendation is to go with about a 60-40 split of what areas you want to have shiny and which areas you want to have matte. Now what you will end up with is all of the areas that are blue will be dull or matte. You'll see as I place my other image behind it. And then the tops of all of these scales will end up shiny. Now take that layer that you've got selected and cut everything else off. Make sure everything is marked as a PMS color. Mark your entire uh, layer as dull and save it out. And save your PDF with a varnish file so we can see exactly what you've got for the dull areas. Then also save out a PDF of your piece without the finish on it. So pay attention uh, to our channel for more tutorials. And thanks so much for your time. And thanks for using Cedar Graphics.